Hello everyone, my name is Uthris and welcome back to Medieval Engineers where we're working on our siege map, the Citadel, and everything is going pretty much according to plan and really excited to move on to the next build. Last episode we built this windmill and it's missing some minor details uh, with woodworking but you know the example of what we're going for is stuff like this and also we're you know something like this along the front so we can make wooden windows uh, this section is also missing the wooden details I'm gonna be probably doing that at the very end but be sure that it will get done at some point again we're not quite ready for the castle uh, I'm still mulling it over in my head on how I want everything to work because it's it's something that you, you really only get one shot at so if you if you mess it up it's essentially messed up for the remainder of the build which is kind of a shame just had to put that wall up on that tower this episode we're going to be working on this lower area a little bit more I'm actually working on a bit of a treasury and I think it's gonna be a pretty cool build once we get started on it a little bit I was testing out some minor designs earlier um, and I will be changing the front facade just a little bit to make it a little bit more grand because you know it's a grand structure it holds all the money of the Citadel and it's fairly important it's going to go underneath the mountain just a little bit if we carve that out. In fact, I'm going to carve out just a little bit of it right now. Again, snap to voxel grid, really not a good thing. So I don't use it. It's much easier to do just uh, freehand most of it. You can see some of the wall kind of sticking through there. Uh, you don't really have to fill all this in because, I mean, no one's really going to get through here. I mean, they could spend the time, I guess, to mine through to try and get to the castle. But all the rooms are going to be surrounded by stone. And you can't really mine through that uh, very quickly. So it's probably not the most viable way. The most viable way is probably, really, once you take the gatehouse. If you can get up here, um, depending on how much damage falling does, uh, you can probably kind of get around fairly quick just by doing this if you know that's the most direct path as you can see we can even head this way maybe oh that fell so there's a bit of free running to be had and you guys are going to have to watch out for but if they fall they'll probably die i haven't tested quite how much the falling damage does and that's going to be a bit of a balance issue but I don't think that's too much to worry about. I think that's a normal issue to have, at least for us. Let me just get rid of some of this. So I can reset my hot bar for what we're doing. We have a little bit of an entryway, worked on a bit of a teller's spot. And then from here, what I'm going to have is blank wall let's grab some chairs for the people working nope facing the wrong way like so and this will be pretty much it I might have to actually scoot these in so people can actually move at least this one so they can get behind it or I could go in here and scoot the wall back actually by doing this. Moving it on this side of the voxel. That kind of automatically widens the section. So you can get a little bit of space just by doing that. Put our pillar back. There we go. Then also our window for the teller so they can see outside. Now obviously this would be best sealed off in some way so people can't like, well it's medieval times, I mean they, they can't really threaten anyone unless they had like a bow, but I'm pretty sure everyone would see that. Unless you go all Assassin's Creed maybe. Uh, let's see, a little storage area. 
so beyond that, what we're going to do is set up a small office. Just right here. And we're going to use the double wide window to fit and center that up. Get the spacing all nice. We also need a desk and a chair. And then probably a small chest to serve as something. Maybe just some generic countertops. Something like that. Then you can also put another chair for meetings of some sort. You can actually go with two chairs. Just like that. And anything else? How about a barrel? Just a simple barrel. So that's a nice little office. Pretty basic. Ooh, kind of missing our pillar. That's supposed to be on the ground here. There we go. All right, at this point, we will head into the actual safe. Now the door to the safe, I'm thinking, do we want another little, office area, on this side, just to make it all even and nice, uh, why not? Or maybe just make it a storage room of some kind. And there is that, put up some more walls, don't have to worry about windows, it's, it's designed like this. It's going to be underneath rock anyways. Getting a little tired of kind of everything updating every time I place a block and that's just because it's updating the structural integrity of everything at once. I don't know if it should do that or if it should try and do it in quadrants rather than everything. But as you can see our structure is still green. Actually I need to check one thing up here still a bit of an issue right in here and I don't know what's causing this it could just be the floor in general sometimes you know wooden floors try to bear weight when they shouldn't and so if I maybe bring the pillars all the way up will that work There's also that floating block that needs to be removed. That's just adding unnecessary weight. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that worked. I'm actually a little surprised at that. Let's see if it made every, anything else red because it's transferring weight somewhere. Yep, there's another red spot. You guys are probably screaming, this is not the bank. Why are you over here? We have seen this already. Because it's important. It's important to try and get all this kind of stuff right. I can't tell, it's like red, but not. Is it only red because of all the orange overlapping? It's gonna be one of those things I'll have to turn the map on with structural integrity as a final test eventually. We'll go back over here, if I can fit. Apparently my character has been eating too many snacks. Lay out our vault room. It's gonna be a three by five, I think. More flooring. Go three by four, maybe three by four. That's plenty of large for what we have. Now, how do I want to do the door? The door might actually end up being special. 
do I trust myself to actually make a wooden vault door or a metal vault door to be exact you know what I think I do so let's grab our catch block our weights and throw together our two hinges Is this an even? It's always even. So the best thing to do is just increase this by one. So if we grab the catch block and raise it up just one little block, and that won't hurt anything. And then this will allow it to be an odd number and have a center point. Am I right? Yes. So seven. And then we can just build up some sort of round shape here. Oop. So maybe if we do this. So, see this is always the, the problem with making doors, you can't quite get to the bottom. There we go. So if we do that, then something like that. See on the other side, is that centered? It is. That's wonderful. Now, at this point, can I get away with putting something here that's just a hair smaller? Nope. Let's see. What's the best way to handle this, you think, guys? I, for one, would like to have this. Stereotypical uh, vault locking mechanism. It's a little tough to push open. I mean, I could just argue that it's locked and can't be opened, but I don't think that's very good. Hmm. Come on. Open up for me. You know what? It might just not be openable. Which is fine. I mean, there's no reason really to go in here for the siege. And it would be cool to just make a aesthetic looking door. I am just really surprised that it won't open at all. Is the uh, weights getting caught in the corners? Is that the problem? No. I think it's just not clearing the wall back there. Oh. No, it's just that heavy, I think. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, it does open. It takes... A whole lot of force to do so. How about a running start. Yeah. Well, now it's open all the way. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted at all. Maybe if I get rid of some of this friction. No. I really don't know what's causing it. It's not acting like a normal door. It's a little frustrating if you guys can't tell. So we're at like 15 minutes. And I was gonna do a skip, but thinking about it, I do that so often. Let's just lay down some chests in here first. We'll use the large chest after laying out some walls, some basic. 
basic walls. Okay, and then we need a bolted ceiling. Yep, just like this. No vault on that side. I have to use just a straight wall. There we go. I mean, push comes to shove, I can just make a false door, but I feel like I've overused that technique a little bit. So let's find the actual corner sections to make uh, all the textures line up all nice like. And. They still work here? No. It's best not to. Alright, so this is our nice little vault for our citizens, or, well, ghost citizens, because it's a ghost town here, essentially. Gotta check the mountain on the outside, make sure everything's still all clean. gonna install these uh, it's not gonna have an upper floor but it will give a nice wooden aesthetic to the offices you know you can walk in you can see the pillars and everything it uh, looks far more office like in fact everything on that section is gonna be low so low ceiling right there this, of course, is going to be kind of a little bit more grand. Maybe I'll build a chandelier as well. Really wish the chairs were usable. Hit. Nope. Tell you what. Because this will totally work. See if it opens and closes. It opens. It closes. It's a door. It works. You can't really close it from the outside. A little bit of a problem. I really think the hand manipulation tool needs a bit of a buff. There we go. So at this point, we can switch back to our wonderful weight. And then do a nice little uh, circle on it. probably better to go in this direction so three then three then space and then another three space three space all right fits in here I really wanted this thing to be a little bit more grand but Seems like I'm limited. There we go. That's center. I might be able to just inlay it a little bit better. Add some color variation with these rounds. Oh, 
a little surprised that didn't cause the door to swing open. Oh, I broke it. So yeah, I mean, it, it's functioning. I'll be a little, little wonky, but as long as it works, you can fit underneath of it. It's just for looks, so I'm not, I'm not really worried if it looks uh, a little jakey. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have put the weight right there. Okay, everyone. So this is kind of the finished bank, you could say, treasury. I decided to make the door for the vault an actual just closed door permanently. Uh, but you will be able to, hopefully, I'm about to test it now, to just chop through if you really want to. Um, really not much in there but it could be a little fun place to go if you're seating so we'll just kind of hopefully work our way through here pretty quickly there we go uh, there's a small outer barrier kind of protecting the door almost like a portcullis that you will be able to kind of open and close in theory but uh, it's all aesthetic right now you can see we can just Start chopping our way through here. Come on. Break for me. Anything? Oh, heard something snap a little. And so, you know, it is a vault door. It's supposed to be a little strong. So we're going to be swinging away. Ooh, the metal looked a little weird bashing into it. Let's try something else. Let's try the hammer. Well, the hammer wants to repair. Let's just try the mace. There we go. I feel like this is a little bit better for this. So we broke the handle off, and now we're just kind of breaking through. Get some of this wood exposed. Now, I don't know how many swings this is going to take to actually break through a chunk of metal. Um, or even if it's possible with just your hand like this. Ooh, that's a different noise. Feels like we're actually hitting the metal now. Oh, we can actually get in, so... It's a good sign. But yeah, you guys can see it's possible to get in there. You can see some chests and it is pretty dark. Just keep swinging away. Maybe even, I can, let's just try with Little projectile thrower. And there we go. I'm in. Able to hopefully get everything for ourselves now. Come on, squeeze in there. Oh. Don't want to actually break down the. Oh no. Oh no. Okay everyone, so it looks like we ended up crashing the game with that last boulder. Um, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next episode we'll start working on the castle for sure. Uh, it's gonna be one of the final major pieces for the Citadel beyond just the siege camp in general. But that should be a single episode thing. So we're, we're really nearing the end of this Let's Build. Um, thank you guys for sticking around so long for so many episodes. It's been quite a project and I'm really happy to get you guys' feedback and, and hear what you guys think. Uh, 
you know, if, if you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more uh, additional content for other games and more medieval engineers in the future. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode.